Hello all, welcome to OraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the approvals for the purchase agreements in the Oracle Fusion ERP. So let's get into agenda. We'll understand how do we configure the approvals? How do we customize it? How do we validate via transaction console or as well as from the database table? So the first thing is how do you enable a PO agreement for the approval? So you just have an option called up to automatically submit for approval. That checkbox will be there based on your requirement. You can just either enable or disable it. Now coming to the next thing, what are the ways we, what are the options we have to configure the purchase agreement? So as you know that there are two approaches. One is the FSM task. The task name is manage purchasing document approvals. Another one is a BPM approach, BPM approach that is called document approval. Let us see the first option, manage purchasing document approval. So you can just go to set up with the procurement area, search for the task, manage purchasing document approvals. And once you open this particular task, you should be able to find out the list of predefined rules and you will have an option called edit, disable, and you can customize them accordingly and then you have to deploy it. Once your changes are done, you have to enable it and then you have to deploy so that these particular rules will be enabled for the approval. Now, let us see the next option also. So ignore this particular slide, I'll come back to this. So now the other option is choosing the BPM approach where you have to search with a task called manage task configuration procurement and search for the process name called document approval. This is the document approval, which we use it for the purpose of the standard purchase order as well as the agreement also, the BPA purchase agreements also, okay? Now in this one, you can just edit it and you can modify it. So now the thing is, if at all, if you modify the workflow from the BPM, nothing but the approach to what will happen is you cannot open the workflow from the B, the approach one. So this error you will come across if at all, if you have already modified the workflow using the approach to, okay? So it all depends upon the requirement, whether you have to want to go to approach one or approach two. If it is a complex, like if your requirement is so complicated, then I prefer approach two. If your, if your requirement is very simple, then you can go with the approach one, okay? So if at all, if you already have gone with the approach one, then all the changes will be available in the approach two. But if at all, if you are modifying the configuration via approach two, then you cannot open the configuration in the approach one. Okay. Now, so now let us say, as now we'll see how do we create the agreement, right? So once you have to navigate to the procurement purchase order screen and you click on the create agreement. And once you click on create agreement, you'll have an option called style. You select the appropriate one. So I have selected blanket purchase agreement and with a supplier with the Dell INC and the remaining default and click on create. Now the purchase agreement will be created. And once I click on submit, it will be sent for approval. So now it is sent for approval. Then how do I validate the status of the approval for that particular agreement? So navigate to tools, click on transaction console. You can search for your agreement and you should be able to see the status of your agreement. Like uh, I have searched with the purchase document approval or maybe you can just search with uh, your particular agreement you should be able to see the status of it now the table details right so we have the same thing the tables are similar to a purchase order PO headers all as well as PO action history. now yeah so if at all if you want to see the status right once you search for your bl blanket purchase agreement click on the status and then click on this particular pending approval right once you click on the pending approval you should be able to see the hierarchy of the approval workflow like at which stage it is pending to whom it is with pending with or whether it errored out everything you should be able to get from here also so first approach one is from the transaction console approach two is from the vivo screen itself and the other approach is the database sql query using workflow transaction history now we'll see one by one so we'll just navigate to the fusion application instance so let us see the information so I can just go here. I'll just navigate to my application. Click on setup and maintenance. And you can just search with the task called configure procurement business function. And here configure procurement business function. You select the appropriate business unit for which you want to configure the approvals. It's like only enabling approval workflow when you submit the PO or agreement, right? So here you can just select the appropriate option. Okay. 
yeah enable negotiation or enable requisition approval or purchase order approval you'll find all the automatically submit for approval you'll see all these options now the next one is how do we configure right now the next thing is you have enabled the workflow now the next one is let us see the first option manage purchasing document approval so now here click on this one manage purchasing document approvals you should be able to see the approach like a uh, workflow now so here if you observe i have only one rule which is enabled here i have only one rule which is enabled here now we can see the rule what i have done here click on edit rules and i just mentioned that buyer is not null if the buyer is not null simply send the approval to this particular approval group so i just created an approval group and for which i assigned only one user called calvin Roy. now this approach one now what was the next approach the next approach is using the bpm approach right so this is the approach you can see yeah i'll show you this task name is manage task configuration for procurement you can just search here yeah so once you click on this one it will navigate to the bpm screen here you have to search with the document approval once you search once you search this one you can click on this and uh, you can also modify it here if at all if you want to modify you have to click on the pencil icon or else if you just want to view you can just click on the click on this particular signing in the read only mode and you should be able to see in the information read only mode and this was a uh, only participant which is enabled in this particular approval workflow all things are grayed out only one is enabled that is in the blue color right this is our custom rule and which i have assigned to approval group here and to this approval group you can observe here i click on approval groups and there is there was only one user i just assigned yes now final thing now let us see how do we create the agreement and check the status right we'll go to procurement and here click on purchase agreement click on task list click on create agreement here i'll select go with the default and i'll just select a supplier or type it a supplier called dell and click on create once it populates the supplier site yes So now I'll just enter the line details and also if at all of any mandatory parameter just enter click on new line description just enter any of the category uom and price and then i'll click on submit so the generation of approval generally takes a couple of seconds or minutes based on your system load or based on the complexity of your approval rules now here also like um, our approval i mean the blanket purchase agreement number is 522280 right so yeah i'll just click on this one we should be able to see our agreements now the list of agreements which are in progress this is the latest one which is pending for approval so even if you click on it not sure whether it will generate the approvals yeah you can see here the approvals information is currently enabled because it generally takes a couple of minutes or seconds also so i'll just open a new tab and you can see the information from the transaction console also it still says that you know like a pending uh, generation or something let's see that we'll go to tools transaction console and our agreement number was 52280 yeah and just uncheck this failed one yeah this one bpa 52280 and you can observe here the status is still saying that in progress so nothing but the approvals are not yet generated and we'll check the information from the analytics also from the table also so i'll just search here using the pivot table as well as workflow history table as well as py action history table so let us see what does it show and this particular table helps out when you get an error okay 
So now this was the one, right? Five double two eight zero was our PIVO. And this information, right? The identification key for your PIVO, you can get it from the PIVO action history table. So I just get that action identification key. You just pass this identification key to the workflow history table. And once you search it, you should be able to get the information. So here you can observe that this is assigned to uh, the user Calvin Drug. So from the backend, we are able to find it. And let us see the information from the UI also, from the transaction monitor. Yes. Perfect. So we are able to find out or we are able to identify or view the information which it is assigned from the transaction monitor and the same information you should be able to find from the PO screen also. Let us say if I click on pending approval, this will help out to identify at which level your approval agreement is pending with or how many states are generated and all those information. Let us say if it is not able to view properly, just search it again. The screen would have not refreshed properly. Yeah, it, sometimes it takes. Yeah, yep. It's generated now. Click on pending approval. Yeah, it is still not generating. Okay, but ideally it will work. Or maybe I can reload once. Let me close this. Or else I can show you the one which is already existing one. Let's say I'll try this. If not, there should be some issue with the screen itself. Okay. Yeah. So this is how you should be able to find out. Like uh, it shows the stage name, the participant name, and the rule name. So by this, you can easily identify what is the status of your workflow. So this is all about the approval workflow for the PO agreements in Oracle Fusion. Thank you.